not a man from death scene. Capito? Quando canto io voglio che anche lei faccia silenzio, come faccio silenzio per lei, sicuro. Where's Frascati? What's the matter, darling? I'll tell you what's the matter. Where's Frascati? He's right here, darling, waiting to congratulate you. Superb, my dear Calabas. Simply superb. House sold out. Hundreds thrown away. The public never tires of you, this old. Isn't that nice? Well, they'll never hear it again. Not this season. But, my dear. Not at that fat frog of an Italian tennis thing's Tristan. What is wrong with him? What's wrong with him? Garlic. He eats it. He breathes it. He's alive with it, and his friends won't tell him. Well, I'll tell him. Never again, Frescati. Never again. Now, certainly, my dear. Of course not. Whom do you want in the park? Does it matter? <laughs> when Carlotta Manson sings this older, no one listens to Tristan anyhow. Ah, oh, Mr. Hans Vogel. Carlotta, how beautiful you are tonight. Oh, did you receive my little present? Yesterday. How generous of you. I adore pearls. Pearls? I sent you emeralds. Oh, you shouldn't have done it, Hans Vogel. They're far too expensive. They're my favorite jewel. <laughs> my dear, when can I see you alone? Come tomorrow afternoon to tea. Lady Grayson will be there. You two will love each other, I know. Uh, five o'clock. One moment. Your friend, Mrs. Van der Stein, is waiting in your dressing room to see you. Darling, be nice. The opera needs a few Mrs. Van der Stein. Her husband's contribution is very generous. We simply can't offend her. Oh, can't we? Well, I'll surprise you someday. Oh, Emily, my dear. Oh, not a darling. I couldn't resist running around to see you for a moment. You don't mind my making myself at home in your dressing room, do you? Not at all, my dear, not at all. And this is June. Yes, <laughs> my little June. Just back from her two years in Italy. Not really. My dear, I'd know her anywhere as your daughter. Would you really? But everybody says she's the very image of you, Carlotta. <laughs> dear, I only wish I were half as beautiful. <laughs> and what a voice, Carlotta. I never heard it equal. She does Isolde's death song almost as well as you do. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear her. How about tomorrow afternoon at four? Delighted, my dear, delighted. Uh, Laura, how about tomorrow afternoon at four? Am I free? No, dear, you haven't a free minute for the rest of the week. Oh, oh how tragic. Oh, dear, Another dear. time, my dear. Well, I suppose I'll so. I'll give you a ring, shall yes. I? Will you so good of you to come. <laughs> so good of both of you. Oh, take care of my little June. We must guard that precious boy. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night, good night my dear. She'll spend the rest of her life abusing her husband because he, he kept her from a great career. Oh, great stars in heaven, how sick I grow of the crowds that hang about my dressing room door. I know, darling, but you'd be much sicker if they didn't hang about your dressing room door. I wouldn't at all. How many of all that crowd really care whether I live or die? All they care about is whether my throat is in good condition or not. How well I sang last night. Oh, won't you hear my darling daughter sing? Or won't you do this for me and that for somebody else? Who cares for Carlotta? Who cares for myself alone? Oh, thank you. You are so kind. I'm terribly sorry to do this, Miss Manson. It's all right. I'm a composer, and I want you to hear some of my songs. How good are they? Mr. Hume thinks... Oh, never mind what anyone else thinks. What do you think? I think they're great. All right. Call my manager tomorrow. He'll make an appointment for you. Dexter 1350. Good night. Thank you, Miss Manson. How much longer is this going to last? It won't be long now. 
She always cries out like that right at the finish. Oh, what a treatment. Oh, I've never been this hard so beautifully. Hmm. Oh, my dear, you're wonderful. You'll be sure to come tomorrow night without fail, won't you? Tomorrow night? I send someone else, madame, if you don't mind. My sister, she will have a baby, and I must be there to help her. Oh, how marvelous. Of course you must be there. Do let me be godmother. We'll have the christening right here in my house. So, must be a generous check for this baby. Robert, write me a check for a hundred at once. Madame, you are so kind. Oh, no, my dear, I'm not kind. I'm simply envious. Why am I denied the joy, the simple, elemental joy of bringing children into the world? But no, I'm a slave to my public. No one ever comes to me and cries, Oh, Carlotta, give me a baby. All I ever hear is, Oh, Carlotta, give me a song. Thank you. Oh, there, my dear. Madam, my sister, don't run along. Never mind. Hurry, everyone. I'm terribly tired and I must have some rest. Good night, darling. Sleep well. Good night, Paul, my sweet. Ten o'clock sharp. Good night. Well, Carrie. You don't mind if I stay a while, do you? Oh, Carrie, at this hour. The only hour I can ever find you alone. Oh, oh can't you marry me? What nonsense? This silly life of an opera singer. Oh. Oh, I know, Carlotta, you're on the crest of the wave now. But how long will it last? Just as long as I've breath in my body. Carlotta Manson has a voice and she knows how to use it. Perhaps when I reach the age of 80, I may think of retiring, not before. And then? Then, for the rest of my life, I may be a lonely old woman. What of it? Just now, Carrie, I'm not going to marry any man to ensure my old age. What about love? Well, what about it, Carrie? You don't know the meaning of it. What I ought to do is crush you in my arms and smother you with kisses. Why don't you, Carrie? You're not very convincing, are you? Oh, I know, darling. You represent everything that a sensible young girl would like to have. But don't you see, I I'm not sensible. Oh, it's all right. Let's just be friends, hmm? You always win, don't you? Why not? No one ever offers me enough opposition. man want? Oh, he had good intentions. Yes. Well, men with good intentions gets us girls into trouble. Laura, don't you ever long to be a wife and mother? Not at my time of life. Now you go to bed. Get some sleep. Good night. Good night, Laura.
I wouldn't bother with those if I were you. They're not one of them real. One more peep out of you and I'll pump you full of lead. What do you mean? Mm. Ah, you have some strength in them little hands, haven't you, baby? <clears throat> oh, well, a whiff of this and you'll be right back where you belong. Oh, I'm so... I'm so... You don't know who I am. Carlotta Manson. Oh. Well, I'm a son of a gun. Giving me chloroform. Do you want to ruin the world's most beautiful voice? Don't ever do that again. Not on your sweet life. Well, well, well. <laughs> and what do you know about that? Oh, I've seen you many the sweet time. Where? At the opera. Not really. Sure. Good opera inspires me to do better work. Oh, I never missed a performance when you're singing. Say, that was some show you gave tonight, baby. <laughs> Oh, this is marvelous. You and I seem to have a lot in common. Sit down. And talk. And do put that away. What are you thinking about? I was thinking you're more of an eyeful close by than you are at a distance. Thank you. Of course, you have the advantage over me. Take that awful handkerchief away from your face and let me see the rest of it. If your nose and mouth are half as nice as your eyes, you must be an Apollo. And now the cat. Is it all right? Oh, of course it is. Tell me, why does a man with a face like yours waste his time as a burglar? What do you mean, waste my time? It's a great racket. I bet I make as much dough as you do. Oh, that's good. Say, this is what I call a break. What do you mean? Well, I've been pretty nice to you, kid. Now you're going to do something for me. Yes? Yeah. You ought to know a good voice when you hear one. Well, get a load of mine. I've always thought it was pretty good myself, see, but I didn't want to waste a lot of dough training it. So I want the low down from you. No kidding now. If it's the raspberries, you put the KO on it and I'll forget all about it. <clears throat> oh, you're not going to sing now. That's right, I'd, I'd better close the window. I might disturb the neighbors. Well, no time like the present. Oh, this is too marvelous. Hey, how about the rest of the house? Oh, they sleep like logs. <coughs> this night work's kind of rough on the throat. Yes, we singers understand. <coughs> oh, believe me, if our love and earring young which I gaze on so fondly today. Well, to fade by tomorrow, I'll fleet in these arms, like fairy gifts fading away. Now she'll be as dear as... Who is it? Who's doing all that singing? It's this hour of the night. I am. I see. I didn't realize you were a baritone. You send that man out of there this minute. You don't let me hear any more from you tonight. Yes, Laura. It's all right. She won't bother us again. My friend, you're marvelous. I'm a cheer you again. You've the makings of a great singer. I've never seen such chest expansion. Just see you now in tight. Singing Valentine and Faust. Oh, my friend, you've a great future ahead of you, and Carl Ottomanson will see that you achieve it. On the level, my voice clicks. Tomorrow you shall have an audition here in my <laughs> house. Frescati, the director of the opera, will be here. What do you think of that? And my manager and I will be here. Yeah. And your true friends will turn out to be a couple of old fashioned dicks. No, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, you idiot. Can't you tell when a woman's in earnest? 
Do you know a real pearl when you see one? Why, well, I do. I've handled enough of them. Well, here's one ought to bring tears to your eyes. Take it. Bring it back tomorrow. Oh, by the way, what's your name? Lady, never ask a burglar his real name. Call me Barney McGann. Good night, Barney McGann. You can forget the pearl if you like, but don't forget to come yourself. Oh, you... Ah, don't get sore, baby. I might have taken a lot more than a kiss. See you tomorrow. If I ever get hold of this, what a story! Well, they won't. This man means more to me than a puny piece of publicity. But can... Why, if this thing ever came to light, his career would be ruined. Uh, his career as a burglar? After today, he ceases to be a burglar. Carlotta, darling, you don't seriously think that he's coming back this afternoon? I certainly do. He telephoned me this morning. He's every inch a gentleman. Yes, yes, of course. I gave him my black pearl. What? He didn't take it. I gave it to him, and he's bringing it back this afternoon to show how much he trusts me. All right, all right, darling, you win. Oh, now, Robert, be a lamb. After all, no one knows he's a burglar but you and Laura, and no one ever will. Senior Fresca. Oh, darling. Well, my dear. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good of you to come. Uh, not at all, my dear. Always glad to see you. Always glad to hear a new voice. <laughs> when you say it's good, it generally is. <laughs> and the name, please? Oh, that's all right. They know me. Oh, Mr. McGann, you're right to the minute. Say, so, this isn't a frame-up, is it? Because if it is, I... Now I want you to meet my two very dear friends. Signor Frescati, my impresario. Monsieur Giraudot, my manager. How are you, boys? Uh, and this is, uh, this is Mr. Jason, my accomplice. Gentlemen, uh, this is Mr. Barney McGann. <laughs> oh, Mr. McGann comes from the far west. In Nevada. I think you said, didn't you, Mr. McGann? Mm -hmm. What? Sure. Uh, he was a miner out there and used to spend the long winter evening singing for the men. They thought he had great possibilities. And then one night... Well, never mind about that night. If the boys are ready, I'll, I'll shoot the works. <laughs> All right, Professor. <coughs> it's, a, it's a simple little thing. It's, as a matter of fact, I, I don't know what it's all about. You see, I, I uh, sing the German words. It's, they uh, suit my voice better. Run a route. Well, no, let's... Well, I'm a 
What do you think? Oh, what a lot of miserable beggars you are. You hear a fresh, beautiful voice, and because it isn't perfect, you sit there like so many stone images on a fountain. Of course he needs work, a lot of it. He needs coaching, and he shall have it. Castello, who trained me to be the singer I am, shall guide his destiny. And with Carlotta Manson, there's a stupid eye. How can he fail? What is it you really want, my dear? I want you to give him a contract for the opera next week. Oh, don't be a lot of pigs. It'll cost you a hundred dollars a week, no more. Oh, you can give him a tiny part until he's ready for something big. It's all set. Oh, you darling. All right. <laughs> it's your wish. Run along now, all of you. I'm going to talk with this precious man. Oh, Robert, send him in to me, will you please? Oh, thank you so much, Paul. Goodbye. much to start, but it's a grand beginning. <laughs> so Barney McGann will sing at the opera. <laughs> Laugh that off. But it's no laughing matter. It's serious hard work. Oh, sure. You'll have the finest coach in the country, my coach. You'll come here every day, and I'll give up my vacation to be with you. Mm, it looks as though I'll have to give up my job. Oh, but of course. From now on, we can't afford to expose that marvelous throat. <laughs> Give me that kind of a toe. Well, what kind of a toe do you 
want. I have asked you, please do not sing with your throat. Not sing with my throat. What do you think I am? A brass band? No, the jure, the jure, the jure, the This man will drive me insane. Well, how's my pupil doing this morning? Oh, not so warm. I'm full of sour tones, and the professor here is all hot and bothered. Yes, swallow these raw eggs, dear. They'll soothe your throat as nothing else will. Oh, th this is swell. That's going to help a lot. Huh. Now let me hear what you've been doing. Perhaps it isn't so bad after all. I tell you, your tones are not so many lemons to be squeezed. They must come out so. Now, once again, if you please. All right, Professor. Keep your shirt on. I have asked you before never to tell me to keep my shirt on. All right, well, we'll take it off. Run around your DVDs. What do I care? Bonnie. I am through, Galata. I am through. Oh, husband, maestro, surely. For you, I will do anything. But I will not waste my time with this boar who thinks he can't sing. He cannot sing. He never will. I am through. Oh, monsieur, surely. How dare you? How dare you insult this great teacher? My teacher? Why, you ought to be on your knees begging him to listen to you. How do you ever expect to learn to sing? I don't. Get this straight between the eyes because that's where I'm putting it. I don't. What do you mean? Just this. The professor was about right. I can't sing. I never will be able to sing. Oh, but he was angry. Well, he's often said much worse things to me. Well, he won't say them to me because I'm through. I've been at this thing now for two weeks, and I'm sick of it. Two weeks? How long do you think I worked before I even dared open my mouth? Five years. Well, anybody that wants to be that big a sucker is welcome to it. It's no life for me, and I'm fed up with it. I've always had my freedom, except for two years and six months, and I always mean to. Well, of course you do, my dear. Well, how much of it do I get here? For the last two weeks, I've been told what to do and when to do it. I've had to eat food I didn't like because somebody said it was good for me. I've had to give up drinking and smoking, and half the time I feel like a regular pansy. Oh, but oh, no, Barney... I don't mean to be ungrateful. You've been swell to me, and I shan't forget it. Listen, I'll send you a check to square it with the maestro and a little bonus for the year. Oh, I wouldn't... Now be... listen, baby. I'm not owing anything to any woman, ever. I'm going out of here with my shoulders square and my head high. And I'm not riding in any of your high-powered cars either, see? I'm walking out. Oh, no, Barney. You can't do this thing to me. You can't. Why not? Because I couldn't live without you. Forget all about your music, if you like. You need never sing another note if you feel that way. Forget everything. Except me. What are you driving at? I love you. And I want you. Oh, darling, don't leave me.
Well, kid, where do we go from here? I want you to marry me. I want to be yours, all yours. And I want you to be mine. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a good one. Listen, baby. I've learned a lot about a lot of things in these last two weeks, even if I didn't learn how to sing. And I don't want to be the husband of any prima donna. Oh, a, a swell time I'd have. Running after you at the opera house, carrying your bags on tour, walking your dogs up and down the avenue. Oh, no, sweetheart. That program's out. <laughs> I've worked with some pretty low jobs in my life, but I've never gone quite as low as that. All right. I'll give it up. Give what up? My career. Oh, don't kid me. Oh, I mean it. Do you think I love the work I'm doing? If you felt as you do about these past two weeks, how do you think I feel? I know the life I'm leading, the people I meet. I've longed to be a free woman for years, but, but haven't had the courage to give it up. Perhaps I never would have it. If you hadn't come along. But in two weeks, the season is over. I'll have to finish that out. But from then on, Call out a man for never things again. You kind of like me, don't you, baby? Oh, my darling. I love you, I adore you, I worship you. All right, kid. You're on. <sighs> Just one thing, baby. Do I marry you or your family? My family? You heard me. Your manager, your secretary, your piano tuner. And last, but not least, Laura. Huh. You can't have us all, baby. Either they go or I go. And you better make up your mind fast because my train leaves in about five minutes. Oh, but of course, anything you say will be done. All right. Give us another little kiss. <laughs> on the wire, will you? Tell him I'm a him at once. Mind you at once. It's a matter of life and death. Oh, tell him I'll be at the opera house in 30 minutes. No, 25 minutes. Laura! Oh, Bonnie, darling, uh, get my chauffeur, will you? Tell him to be directly in front of the house in five minutes. No later. Hurry. Oh, darling, you do move so slowly at times. What's the matter, darling? Can't you get the number? Laura! Oh, everything I have is at stake and nobody will come to help me. Did you call me? Oh, what do you suppose I've been doing all this time, shouting at the top of my voice? A woman with a throat like yours has no business shouting at anybody. Do you want anything or do you not? Get my hat, my coat, my bag and my gloves. Get me everything I want immediately. Oh, Laura, I'm the happiest woman in the world. Congratulate me, darling, congratulate me. Carlotta Manson, are you going to marry that dirty burglar who thinks he can sing? I love him, Laura, I love him. Very well, then you take him. I'm leaving. Laura, I'll get your hat and your coat and your bag and your gloves and everything. After that, I'm leaving. Oh. Well, darling? She'll see you in 25 minutes. Good. Come at once. We have a moment to spare. There's so many things to be done. Oh, my heart is like a singing bird.
That's all. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? How are you? Very well, thank you. Well I don't suppose you could try me a couple of eggs some morning, could you? If you have anything to complain of, don't come to me. I'm not your mistress. Wouldn't you like to be? Hello, kid. And how's every little thing? Very well, thank you. <laughs> That's fine. Bonnie, dear, I must ask you not to vent your early morning humors on Mimi and Fifi. After all, if you must be brutal, why not attack someone your own size? I haven't seen anything of my own size since I've been here. A bit of bread, darling, please. What's going on? Anna Marina is singing Isolde at Munich this summer. <laughs> I hope Wagner doesn't hear us. Heaven rest his soul. Anna Marina doesn't sing so badly. Anna Marina doesn't sing at all. She crows. Mm. Fred and Alice Maitland arrived yesterday in Naples. They come to Italy every summer to renew their honeymoon. <laughs> I've never known such devotion. Well, is there anything there that might interest me? Yes, here's something. Signor and Signora Anconi of Genoa were robbed last night of all their jewels and plate. I'd like to take a good shot at that town myself. Barney. Darling, I don't want to seem ungracious, but I must ask you again not to punch your bag so early in the morning. Fine. I'll stop punching when you stop vocalizing, and not before. How dare you talk like that to Carla Manson? I'm not talking to Carlotta Manson. I'm talking to Mrs. Barney McGann. <laughs> so you don't like my punching at all? It annoys you. Well, there's a lot of things around here that annoy me. And unless you want to start something, you better not ask what they are. It's a good thing it's nothing more than a bag I punch. Because believe me, baby, I pack a dirty wallop. Barney, you don't mean you'd strike me? Sure I would. And why not? Oh, 
Oh, darling, I don't believe I've ever been so happy. <laughs> you wouldn't kid me, would you, baby? And the night, or even more wonderful. Hmm, you. You don't miss all your friends in this funny little out of the way village? <laughs> I not only don't miss them, but I don't ever want to see them again. You're all that I need, darling. All that I ever want. You fill my life completely. Absolutely. But there simply are no others, dear. Oh, who can that be? The Rory! Oh, un bazar per beneficenza. Ci saranno tutti i tuoi vecchi amici e devi assolutamente esserci anche tu. Ma veramente... No, 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 those nuts you speak of are old friends of hers. The sort of people she's accustomed to associate with. Oh, so's your old man. So, your old friends found you at last. You just have to go away from here, Barney. Now they've found me, they'll never give me a moment's peace. Where'll we go? That's just it. Any place we go that's interesting, someone would be sure to recognize me. Of course. Those people are giving a charity bazaar this afternoon for the children's hospital. They insist upon my coming. They wouldn't take no for an answer. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. Of course they'll expect me to sing. Why not? Bonnie, do you think I ought to sing? Sure. I'll go along. I'll take your music with you. All right. It might be fun. We'll leave at five o'clock sharp. Here, here. Where do you get that wee stuff? But Bonnie, dear, you're going, of course. Yeah? And spoil your nice little party? <laughs> Not much. Oh, but it won't be my party. You've no idea how interested these people will be in meeting my husband. Yeah, and what am I supposed to do? Talk to sign language? Oh, silly. I'll be with you every moment. Ah, oh, Barney, dear, don't you realize from now on your life must be my life? My life, yours? We you mustn't let anything separate us ever. <laughs> Not even a garden party. <laughs> All right, kid. <laughs> Laura, lay out my most ravishing gown. Most exciting thing.
a young man, a shooting gallery. Totsy Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the love of Broadway and 42nd Street, what are you doing way over here? Same as you. What are you doing? Wandering around like a lost pup, trying to find someone that speaks my own lingo. You and me both. What do you do for fun? <laughs> I'm on my honeymoon. Why, uh, check and a uh, double check. Oh, go on, you're kidding. Oh, no one could hook you. <laughs> sure thing you know. I married Pug Marini, the walloping walk. And what I mean is, uh, we're married. Pug Marini? You mean to tell me he's here? <laughs> is he here? Ah, uh, go on, take the horse you out of that glove, will ya? <laughs> Marini lands with a left of the jaw, followed by two hard body rights. And then they go into a clinch. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. I could almost kiss you. <laughs> How are you, Barney? How'd you get over here? Uh, my wife brought me. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Signore, signori. Tutti ormai sapete che qui fra noi c'è la celebre Carlotta Manson. Ma nessuno sa ancora che Carlotta Manson ha gentilmente acconsentito a cantare. Madame Manson canterà una romanza di Crispini. been back for 10 years. Of course, when I got hooked up to the little lemon meringue here, the old folks said I had to come back. And are they goofy about her? <laughs> and why not? <laughs> She's America's sweetheart. She is. <laughs> America's sweetheart. <laughs> Leave it lay, Barney. Leave it lay. <laughs> All right, I will, if, if you'll tell me your latest story.
Oh, Barney, I... Yeah, you, you, you certainly did. I, I never heard you sing better. <laughs> and now I want you to meet some real people. Folks, meet the wife. Sure. This is Mrs. Barney McGann. Pug Marini, an old pal of mine. And Mrs. Marini. Totsy Franklin, it was. And one swell little singer. Oh, believe me, she sings. <laughs> Barney tells me you sing, too. Oh, oh. But yet I was just trying to, but... You probably didn't hear me through all the din and excitement. Oh, I heard you all right, and you certainly got a swell pair of bellows. Oh, thank you very much. Pug and Totsy are coming to have dinner with us. I thought I'd go ahead and shake up a cocktail or two. Then you can join us later. Barney, I... Yes, I, uh... I know what you're going to say, that you can't stand the separation. Oh, well, if things get too tough, you can uh, come home. <laughs> yes, I know. Don't get lost in the traffic. <laughs> oh, no. He's gone. Yes, darling. He's gone. My lover has left me. Oh, you don't know how miserable I am. Oh, yes, I do. You may not think it to look at me now, but I've been walked out on. In fact, Walking out on me was the best thing my man ever did. Oh, I can't stand it. My heart is breaking. <laughs> I'll kill myself. <laughs> That's it, Laura. I'll kill myself. Yes, darling, but not today. Why not? <laughs> Never kill yourself when you're miserable. It's bad luck. <laughs> but I shall always be miserable. <laughs> oh, I could smack you. Imagine a woman of your youth and beauty and talents <laughs> weeping over a lost love. Work is what you need. Hard work. And people who know how to appreciate you. That's it, Laura. I need people who appreciate me. Barney McGann didn't appreciate me. I gave him my life. And he walked out on me. <laughs> Good night, Phyllis. I showered blessings on every man who came into my life. And the best I ever got out of it was a good sock in the jaw. <laughs> What are you doing, Laura? I'm getting you out of here as fast as ever I can. But I want to stay here and dream of my lost love. <laughs> You've been dreaming long enough, darling. It's time you woke up. You're right, Laura. I've been asleep. Asleep, asleep. And it's time you got your voice into shape oh. for next season. Well, what about the thousands of people who hang on every note you sing? Think of your public. Oh, yes. Yeah. My public. I've been a traitor to them, Laura. Yes, darling, of course you have. A traitor? <laughs> But I'll make amends. I'll work, Laura. I'll sing next season as I've never sung before. Oh, Laura. This is life. <laughs> Well, darling, <laughs> 18 curtain calls tonight. That breaks your own record. <laughs> I could have taken 20. But what does it matter? What does it matter? $3,000 of performance, darling. Don't forget that. Dust and ashes, Laura. Dust and ashes. He wasn't there. He? The man I love. Oh, Laura, I'm sick at heart. Flowers and messages from all over the world. Not a word from him. 
What a sign. Well, perhaps you'll change your mind when you get a flash of that. Oh, Laura. Oh, Laura, do you think... Who else but he would send you a valentine like that? Good luck, kid. Hope you'll knock them cold tonight. I'm doing a little dirty work myself. Barney. Laura? Barney McGann was out front tonight. I know it. I feel it. I must see him. I must talk with him at once. Robert! Robert! Oh, this coming. is marvelous! Robert, Barney McGann was out front tonight. I'll stake my life on it. Find him as he's leaving the opera house and bring him to me. If you can't find him, go over the town until you do. But, Carlotta, darling, how oh, is the hell do you Don't ask questions. I... My life depends on this. Go! Oh, Laura. Oh, Laura, now I know what I've been missing all these past months. It was Barney McGann. Good heavens, will he never come? Come in. Well? I'm sorry, darling. I followed every clue I could find. It's no use doing anything more tonight. Perhaps uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow? What do I care about tomorrow? I ask you to do the simplest little thing, and all you answer is tomorrow. But darling, Good night, you... Robert. I'm sorry to have caused you so much trouble. But darling, Good you... night. Why didn't he come to me tonight? Is Barney McGann like all the other men I know? Afraid to face realities? I loathe them. I loathe them. Without exception, I loathe them. You're right, dear. There ought to be a law against them. I want to be alone, Laura. Alone with myself. I loathe people. I loathe the world. I want to get away from it. How about Mars? They say it's very nice up there. I shall become a nun and devote my life to those in need. That shall be my great calling. Oh, Laura, why didn't I think of this before? I shall become a nun. Yes, darling. But if you do it, you'll do it alone. I have no intention of joining you. Oh, but you loathe men as much as I do. Yes, darling, I loathe men, but not as much as all that. And anyway, you can't do anything about it tonight. Personally. I'm going to bed. Good night.
It ought to be. How many other burglars do you know? Oh, Barney, you've come back to me. Oh, just a little visit. I had to look after a job in this block tonight. So I thought I'd just drop in and find out how everything was getting along. Oh, it is sweet of you to send the flowers to me tonight, Barney. But why didn't you come yourself? Maybe I did, baby. Oh, no. Robert searched the house in the town and couldn't find you anywhere. <laughs> it takes a better man than Robert to find Barney McGann. Well... Haven't you something to say to me? You bet I have. I made a special trip up here just to say it. Yes? You did a grand job tonight, baby. But your last act was punk. What's happened to you? Oh, I know, Bonnie. I... I just didn't have my heart in it. I... I was thinking of you. That's a poor excuse, baby. Artists like you and me will never get anywhere unless we keep our mind on our job. Now, don't let it happen again. All right, Barney. I won't. Well? I'll see you some other time, kid. Barney? Yeah? Wouldn't you like to stay a little while? Well, I... I might stay longer than that if anybody were to ask me. I'm asking you, Barney. I'd like you to stay for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> 